quick video on what I've been up to, uh, which is a ton of stuff, but I haven't been uploading a lot. Uh, I thought I'd just go ahead and send this out. Um, it's been about a month since I got it working. And uh, it's basically Python uh, voice activity detection. And uh, there's several different versions of this uh, that have been floating around. And um, this version I did a little bit of tweaks to so it will run continuously and uh, also capture the voice chunks and play them back uh, while you're running the code. So uh, this code right here is the, like the foundation of what somebody would potentially use as a hobbyist to do a chatbot. And the one thing you you see on all these examples on the, the net is that, you know, people are hitting a button. I even have my old uh, older video uh, that's using uh, some of this code. Uh, and, uh, you know, I have to hit a button to record my voice and then send it to Google. And, uh, you know, it's just that's not the way, you know, I want this stuff to work. So. Uh, you can see the link up above. Uh, I'll probably have another folder or another uh, Git project that has the more advanced version of this. Uh, but this is just something that people can download, get the uh, pip uh, in installation right, and uh, do some experimentation and see how it's going to work. So again, this is the very, very front end of a software-based uh, voice activity uh, uh, system, but we also have the uh, uh, chunks of re recorded data that we could potentially, uh, through an event mechanism, send off to, uh, to Google. So I'm going to run it real quick. Uh, what you're going to see is uh, ones and underscores, and that's basically the code uh, that's trying to figure out uh, whether you're saying something or not. I have some of my comments in here. These are the original authors, uh, these two different people. Um, the Mr. Wiseman, uh, he did this uh, web uh you know, code right up here, and then Mr. Wayne came in and uh, you got it working into chunks. So, um, all I did was uh, uh, modify the uh, uh, Mr. Wang's version uh, so that it would run continuously. And so, what you're going to see and what you're going to hear is. Uh, my voice right now that's going into my uh, headset microphone and then the detection is going to occur and then the audio is going to get played back through the speakers so let's give it a run testing one two three, three. testing one two three Testing, one, two, three. Hello, my name is Steve. Hello, my name is Steve. Testing again. Testing again. Testing, one, two, three. Three. Hello. Hello. So what you basically saw is some of it coming over okay, some of it not. A uh, little bit of uh, lag. Again, this this is not a several hundred million dollar, you know, Amazon or Google, you know, hardware and software venture. This is just pure obviously Python software written by some really smart guys and then uh, I added the uh, final pieces to it so it'll keep playing now um, eventually what I want to do is put this code 
uh, into the earlier video I had to where we were sending these streams up to Google to get uh, converted to text and then taking the text and sending it to a uh, chatbot engine and uh, the, again that earlier version uh, I'm hitting a button and uh, starting and stopping the the recording so this isn't it's not perfect uh, and it's not meant to be perfect but it can be tweaked and modified uh, especially in these uh, several different loops here and you can see where there's some uh, chunks and there's some modifications that you can do uh, I tuned it a little bit myself with some of these uh, recording examples and you can do chunk duration uh, I modified that and got a pretty good result so anyway I haven't uh, uh, recorded in a video in a while I thought I'd go ahead and get this up uh, I will have the uh, the other version of the uh, chat and the email bot integration I'll have that code uploaded uh, as soon as I get uh, uh, some more time. Again, I've got a full-time software engineering job and uh, I haven't posted in a while and I've been getting some subscribers so I wanted to get this up there. I'll probably have another folder that's got the full-blown uh, chatbot in it uh, and um, have it uh, all integrated. So. Uh, again, this is uh, the best you can kind of get, but at least people can pull the code and maybe do some more tweaking and uh, have the uh, custom uh, voice uh, activated uh, front end uh, tuned and ready to go. That's why it's in its own folder. I didn't want to have a bunch of other code in there uh, and then get everybody confused. Anyway, uh, I've got a lot of things going on right now that I want to try to post, uh, but they do take some pretty serious uh, software integration uh, with Google and accounts and things like that uh, to get working. So you might want to look at my previous video uh, on YouTube that uh, you know kind of gets you going with the uh, uh, what I call the Sophia uh, video and you know onward and upward but when you build these systems the first thing you gotta do is uh, you gotta know that a human being is talking and um, uh, if you don't have that then you can't really do uh, any uh, hands-free uh, chatbot stuff in my opinion hope you enjoyed uh, have a great day